So the five tips that I have for you for flipping EDC gear, more specifically all light flashlights, it definitely deals with more. Um, sell in bundles and save. Stock up on your odd items. Hang on to your freebie items. Always have a value add. Research twice, sell once. Let's get into what those actually mean. Uh, sell bundles and save. Um, eBay takes at this current time 12.55% and 30 cents per transaction. So if you sell an item for $100, you're going to lose $12.85 to eBay alone. Uh, that's not including shipping costs and your sales good costs. So um, if you end up selling something for $10.64 uh, that uses a shipping method that's like the priority flat rate envelopes, you're literally at $0 after that, after eBay's fees and the cost to ship, because I think it's $9.15 right now for a flat rate padded envelope. Um, I'd also recommend using UPS over USPS. Better service, better rates, just better overall. Um, I see some people selling items for under $20 and advertising that it's USPS priority or UPS ground. I don't know how they're making money. I really don't. Even like the smallest items are still almost 10 bucks on UPS ground. Um, that being said, um, hang on to some of these items, and this plays into some of the other rules and tips we're going to get into in a second, but hang on to some of the extra items you get. Like if there's an i3e giveaway with the order, hang on to that i3 that's kind of an odd color or an i1r2 pro or what have you. Um, because later, like one of the bundles I have right now is uh, the Titanium Warrior Mini 2 or Warrior Mini Seasons 2, the original Warrior Mini, the winner. Uh, and I've got that paired with an i5t and an i3t Titanium along with some stickers that match the finish. And now there's this whole bundle that's a little bit of a higher ticker ticket uh, holler, higher dollar ticket item, um, but at the same time, it saves people money on shipping and all that good stuff. Um, number two, stock up on uncommon colors. So, uh, for instance, for the charity sale for the I1R2 pink for the breast cancer charity sale, I stocked up on a few extra of those, along with the I3T pink camouflages that they did later on for their second breast cancer awareness sale. And then I was able to sell those two bundled together for, I want to say, $65 before all the eBay and shipping fees. And the original sale came with like a little enamel pen and a uh, rubber little bracelet. And so I was even able to sell that for a pretty decent penny too. And heck, I might have, able to have been able to hang on to those and resell them for more. But that's kind of the gamble you take on. Is the value going to go that much uh, higher or is the people who wanted it going to get it right away and the market's going to go away? Um, but stock up on those uncommon items. Um, for instance, I had bought a, a, a copper Kershaw leak. And it was $20 off the retail price on Amazon one day, bought it on sale, had an i5T copper, sold the two together. Um, and just for transparency, the package sold for about $160, but I only made about $10.05 in profit. So it's like 6% or something like that, 6.125 or something like that. So it's, it's not the highest profit margins all the time, but consistently you can make a profit. And if you find the right items, like the Patriot S1R2, that thing ended up flipping for double its uh, retail value the second it came out because it was there was that much scarcity involved. Um, number three, free tier gifts and giveaways. Don't hesitate to try and capitalize on those. Um, I got the red i1R2 Pro recently and that was the only thing I got in the flash sale. So it was free, but I had to pay the $5 for shipping and now I just got a $20 flashlight for five bucks. I could easily resell that on eBay, make my money back, probably break even-ish. Um, but now if I start collecting those, uh, uh, the blue one and the orange one and the red one and the black one, and who knows what other colors they're going to come out with for it, I now can bundle all those together as an I1R2 Pro collection, sell it to someone who's looking to complete the whole set, or break it up into a couple of different packages. But now I'm selling them collectively, and that shipping rate, instead of being per piece, is now per four pieces or per ten pieces. So it saves you money, it saves your buyer money, everybody wins in that situation. Um, rule number four, find a value add. So we also, uh, we all just purchased the same flashlights from the same flash sale for the same cost or whatever the sprint run was or whatever it may have been. And so why am I going to buy yours over theirs? And let's say we both paid $50 for it. We're both reselling it for $75. What makes yours more special than theirs? Um, I do stickers, for instance, so that the sticker finish matches the color of the flashlight. And now if we're both selling that piece of gear for $75, I at least have a matching sticker to go with it, so why not go through me? It also goes back into the previous uh, uh, number one rule of bundling things. Again, that might make your package more appealing is if you have something on top of just the items themselves to make it worth it. A piece of swag that comes through. They, they sent out puzzles in an Olight swag pack recently, so little stuff like that. You never know who what's what. 
Um, and for number five, we're going to do a little bit of a green screen fun because I want to overlay myself over my computer screen so you can see some of the steps I'm taking. So let's hop into that right now. All right, tip number five, and we're going to do a fun little green screen for this so I could put myself in front of my computer screen. Um, but uh, research twice, sell once. Um, it's definitely uh, uh, the last tip, but it's probably one of the strongest tips that I have for you here. Um, before you sell anything on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, wherever, you need to know what it's going to cost you to sell that item because as much as it might be nice to think that selling items is free, it's not. Um, eBay, like I said, 12.5%, 12.55 plus 30 cents. Uh, if you literally just sell it through Facebook Marketplace on PayPal Goods and Services, there's 3%, 2.99 plus I think another 30% per transaction fee. So no matter what, you're going to pay something plus shipping costs plus the initial sales could cost. So you want to do your research and, and know what you're going to make before you end up signing up for the deal. Um, I can't tell you how many posts I saw in the OLI group of people not realizing they had a monthly cost that they had to pay back for final value fees at the end of the month. Luckily, they take them out now at the time of the transaction, so it's a little more transparent if people aren't paying attention, but hey, it's all there in the, the terms and conditions. Um, but how can you figure out what some items are worth, right? That's that's a question I've seen some people, and they always post in the Facebook group, hey, what's this worth? Hey, what do you guys think I should sell this for? Um, it's really simple. Uh, I use eBay as my barometer, and you can see we're here, and we just searched orange open mini and we're seeing different prices for what people are selling them for we've even got this uh, uh black one for 51.50 that yeah good luck you're not going to get that for it pal um but like the orange one we're seeing is going for 25 24.95 here um and this one's going for 50 but these are all unsold people are just putting them up there so that's kind of like a, a barometer on where the the suggested retail would be i like to click on this sold items and then it'll take you to a different uh, results page of things that have all been listed together and one of these top results is actually going to be my listing of a little orange pack um, but here right here $71 they sold the open mini with some patches and a journal and a mouse pad not bad um, 75 ish with uh, the shipping cost on there I bet it cost them probably 10 10 ish dollars to ship that so not bad um, here you go there's going to be some stuff that doesn't fit $40 for this in the i1r2 which I sold mine with an i1r2 so I would take in this information and say okay if usually the pen's going for 25 then I could say the i1r2 is probably 15 bucks so 25 25 25 all right I keep seeing about 25 bucks so I'm going to guess that's the value of the pen I'm going to take that to this Olight calculator file and I'll have a link to this google sheet so you could download it and use it yourself but in the bottom of it, there's a calculator, and there's a top part where you could fill in your orders and the dates and who you sold it to if you want. Uh, but those are, there's a calculator on here, and I'm going to go to my other calculator because you could see I've done the research here, and here's what I'm seeing them sell for on eBay, 25 bucks for the Orange Open Mini, and here's what it cost me, including half of the shipping at the time of the order. So I would do the same for that Orange Olight i3e, and here's my package that I sold with a whole bunch of stuff. Granted, I accepted the best offer, but hey, start high and shoot for the stars, right? Can always uh, cut more hair off, can't always add hair on. Uh, I did the same for the i3T. Again, you see my package there. I sold it nine days ago, at least at this time of recording. I did the same thing for the i1R2, right? And so I'll take all that information I just gleaned from there, and I say, okay, the pen selling for about 25, the uh, i1R2 selling for about 20, the i3T selling for about 30, and the i3 selling for about 20. And, and then I figured out what each one of those cost me. And so if I was to sell each one of those individually, it'd be about $95 before fees and before shipping costs. And I'd be incurring about $10 to ship each one of those items individually um, with relatively premium shipping options. Um, and my total cost spent for sales goods was 2610. So I'm gonna put in 2610. And I'm going to say, if everything's going for 95 bucks and shipping was $15, I'd make $41.68 on that whole transaction, which is freaking crazy. Um, I put up the screenshot earlier, uh, and I'll go to it here again in a moment, but I sold that within, I think it was nine hours of listing the item. I had a, a best offer that came in that was for a fee that I was cool with, and that was that. So I also recommend, though, putting it on... Uh, Facebook Marketplace at the same time because now if you sell with PayPal Goods and Services and let's say you sold it for the same rate, um, that 12.5% that eBay took starts to add up because there's $16 you just lost right there um, and you sold it for the same rate. So now if I was to sell on, on the Facebook Marketplace, I might even put it for cheaper and let's say what's $75 going to get me? Okay, $36, let's call it $80 bucks then. 
That's roughly the exact same profit margins. I'm able to knock that $15 off, and instead of it going into eBay's pocket, it's going into the purchaser's pocket. So again, you've got the value add of your stickers. You've got a decent price on the whole bundle because they'd have to pay $95 if they went on eBay and bought all the items themselves. And now they're only buying from one person. It's one package. It's a whole lot easier. That's going to increase your conversion percentages to so much higher amounts than if you're just listing the flashlight like every other Olight buyer or every other whatever EDC gear, fill in the blank. Um, use these tips wisely. They will work for other sale items and other EDC gear, but a lot of the topics I touched on here have to do with flash sales and freebie items and free tier gifts, which you may have noticed they're not doing free tier gifts in this January flash sale. I wonder what gives.